Let's talk about snow safety here. I guess I should tell you all of you guys that I'm at my girlfriend's house, and this is her cat. His name is Ollie. Um, all right, so let's just get into this. You, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, I wanted to, I just filmed a little video talking about like a more miniature snow study kit that I brought in with me into the backcountry, and I thought maybe it wouldn't be bad to just sort of lay out all of the snow equipment that I use when I'm in the backcountry. Um, on just like any given day. I may not bring all this stuff out with me. This kind of big stuff is pretty much always out with me. I never bring a cat out uh, because they don't handle, this one won't handle the snow that well. And then moving into kind of the more uh, smaller objects and toys for taking measurements and stuff. This is where I kind of start leaving some stuff behind depending on what I'm doing. Uh, but let's talk about the big stuff first. And this is obviously, this is gonna be stuff that I always have out with me. I guess starting with the shovel. I upgraded my shovel and probe this year for something um, that fits my needs a little bit better. I went with the, this is the Black Diamond Evac 7. They make a 7 and a 9. And what I like about this shovel is the really large blade right here. Uh, so that way I can just scoop more snow up, which will allow me to dig a partner out faster if there's a burial and make me help me make snow pits faster. And uh, also has a nice sharp new blade. My last one was getting kind of chiseled out. Uh, as far as handles for shovels go, I like having the ability to extend this out. There we go. So that way you can get more digging room, nice T-shaped handle, which is really nice. Um, other than that, I'm not super picky about my handles, except that um, most Abbey shovels nowadays are coming with this nice feature to where you put it, you can put it in shovel mode, just like this, so you can dig out. And then since it has that bend there, you can actually twist this around and put the shovel in what some people call hoe mode. And so uh, one is, uh, this allows you for when you're doing strategic shoveling in an actual burial, uh, the second person can be moving a lot more snow faster and then also it allows you to, um, when you're making a snow cave, you can hollow out the sides of the wall a bit easier. I guess, um, I haven't tried this yet, but you could, I guess uh, it would make making snow pits a bit easier because it puts the shovel blade at a 90 degree angle. So you could probably get those walls more smooth with it. I'm gonna have to try that one out in the future. But yeah, there's just a lot of advantages to being able to flip this blade over so I'm excited to try that out more this season. I also upgraded my avalanche probe to something a bit longer than I used to have. Uh, this is also made from carbon, so it's a bit lighter. But um, yeah, the I find that the numbers just wear off over time and I had my last probe for a while, so the numbers were getting a little bit harder to read. This was my old probe. Um, yeah, you can see uh, it is a bit heavier. This is like carbon fiber sort of deal. And the numbers you can see in certain parts were getting worn off just from putting them in the snow and getting through ice layers. You can see the whole measurement lines are worn off on this one. So I just thought maybe it was time to get like a bit of a larger one uh, or just having a newer one was nice to help me read. Um, it also goes up longer. This one's a 235 probe, so it measures up to 235. Uh, the measurements on this one go up to 260, so it's a bit of a longer probe. Uh, both this one will also go as deep as 300 centimeters, if you count this upper segment, uh, whereas this one is like a 280, I think. And so it just helps you with trying to measure that HS a little bit more in our in a, the Washington snowpack. And so, yeah, it was just kind of time to get a new probe. This one still has use and I'll still use it for certain things, but this one's kind of my main avalanche probe I'm rolling around with. I guess actually to finish out the big three, carry a beacon with me while I'm in avalanche terrain. This is the berry box. Uh, I liked it because of the large amount of range that it gives me. And so um, that's kind of why I went with it. There's nothing else that really attracted me to it. A uh, snow saw. I will carry a snow saw with me, a 30 centimeter or 35 centimeter snow saw. 
uh, just for helping to isolate columns. Really, that's what I use this thing for in my snow test. Um, and so I just, uh, I just like having a snow saw. It really helps dig through those ice and crust layers that we get here in, a, in Washington. This one's just made by BCA. All right, so moving on to the smaller equipment. Uh, this bag and kit is made by a company called Snowmetrics. And it's not exactly that they make specific things in this case, but they actually sell these online on their website. And um, instead of buying each individual thing you need, they sell the whole kit all together for a decent price. Um, I actually really like them. I added a few things to this kit and it comes with a nice carrying case to help keep things organized. I think they make a Pro 1 and a Pro 2 kit. So their Pro 1 is a bit more slimmed down. The Pro 2 is like the full on test. So I think this is the Pro 2, but opening it up. So it pretty much comes with uh, everything you need. I did add a rouge block cord and another thermometer. It came with one thermometer. I, uh, I actually bought two digital thermometers and then changed one of the digital thermometers for an analog one, which fits my needs a little bit better. And I kind of like the analog a little bit more, but uh, all these are in Celsius. Um, and then, yeah, this whole kit just comes with pretty much everything you need. You have a ruler on the side that goes up to 200 uh, centimeters, which is generally as much as you need for any sort of snow pit. Uh, obviously, you could use your probe also for if you want something a bit longer or it's just nice to have a couple different measurements right there. Uh, you get your giant two inch brush that I never really use. Um, like I said, one thermometer, you can, I think they'll give you a digital or analog one. I kind of like having one of each. Uh, and if I just, usually I just roll with one thermometer and I'll go with the analog. Crystal card in the back right here. Of course, you have your one by one centimeter uh, blocks on there for measuring your crystals. Magnifying loop. Uh, I like to go with a magnifying loop that's at least 15 multiplication uh, they make ones that are like 10 or something like that uh, but 15 or even higher like 20 or something that's when it's really nice I do plan on upgrading this loop for something a bit more high powered in the future but so far it's been working pretty well for me and it's really nice that this case has this little square right here so that way I keep it from being scratched oh yeah there is a, a little slope indicator and a compass right here uh, I just kind of use apps on my phone to find the uh, actual angle of the slope. This one goes up to 50 degrees, but it's kind of neat. This is a BCA slope reader. They do have the little markings to show you kind of like prime avalanche slope angle right there. So it has a little red marking from 35 to 40 degrees. So that's kind of neat. Uh, I don't really tend to use this all that much. And of course you have a compass there for finding your aspect as well. Um, and then you get a segment right here for your airy field book. As far as just going out with my friends and making a tour plan, this book is really great. It has all the panels and everything that you can write in it. As far as going out and actually digging a pit for taking pit observations, I don't really like this book because that's kind of what they give you for pit observations. Uh, just is uh, doesn't quite have everything that I like to record when I'm taking pit observations. If I'm just out skiing and all I want to do is a quick like surface layer um, or the upper snowpack sort of observations, this would be fine. And if I wanted to do a quick compression or ECT test, then I could record that right here and that wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if I'm going out to take snow temperatures and... Um, go through a full test profile, I, I would choose a different book than this. But uh, that this will suit many people's needs, so uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice one. Pencils, I carry at least two pencils because something bad is going to happen. And then more often than not, this is write and rain paper. I kind of like using the write and rain pen, but I lost my pen, so I'm kind of, I'm just using pencils for now. Um, other than that, that's pretty much everything I use. For my snow steady kit, this thing does come with the little popsicle sticks for like marking out your interfaces. I don't really use these at all. I could take them out of this kit for some reason. I just left them in there. 
But if you do like using that, then you have those there. Uh, the Rouge Block Cord is another thing I added into this kit. Uh, really, I didn't have to add too much equipment into this because it just comes with everything you need. But um, my Rouge Block Cord, this is like little four or three mil cord. And I just tied some double barrel knots in it. Uh, for something like if you're in Colorado or probably Idaho or, you know, a bit of a drier climate without as many ice layers, um, this could probably, this will be just fine. Um, if you're in Washington, what people will do is they'll just tie a bunch of little washers into the cord. So I want to upgrade this cord because it works pretty poorly for isolating columns and other tests in Washington here. Uh, which is why I kind of try to go with the shovel as much, or the saw as much as possible. But uh, I found this thing, which is, it's made by G3, and it's actually a kind of aftermarket rouge block cord. And so it has these springs in here, which I guess will uh, help with cutting snow packs and stuff. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it out yet, but maybe I will. It is kind of big and bulky to add into the kit, but... Um, if I'm bringing this out, th oh, well, if I'm bringing this out, then I'm going to do a full snow pro profile test and not so much a quick, like, skiing test. So it may be worth it. I'm going to try it out and see if it's actually worth it, um, worth the money or something like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I carry with me for as far as snow science goes, minus the cat, in uh, any sort of given avalanche scenario or when I'm going into the backcountry. Uh, I may choose to carry this whole kit with me if I am planning to do a full test profile. But if I'm just out skiing, then I may pare down this kit to something like the crystal card, the thermometer, the loop, and, uh, and a rouge block cord. And then that may be everything I bring out with me is just this stuff, my pencil and my book, actually. I don't want to forget that. So I need to be able to record stuff. Pencil, book, crystal card, rouge block cord, and thermometer, along with a snow saw. Maybe that's all I'll bring out with me if I'm just going out for a day of skiing and I can leave like sort of the full body kit at home. Wait, I keep forgetting stuff. I'd also bring my loop because it's kind of hard to use the crystal card without the loop. But that is actually my normal snow study kit that I would carry around. I'd leave the rest of this stuff at home. I have like a little bag I can keep all that stuff together in. But um, that may be all that I bring out for just a day of normal skiing. And then if I want to go the whole mile and dig the whole test pit and everything, I would bring a few more tools with me. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh. Yeah. I'm recording. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't all let right. him eat my ski boot. All right, all right. I'll move your ski boot. Or what? Well, here we go. You lost interest. You want to eat the rouge block cord, Ollie? That's okay. <laughs>